Coach, Coach what have been your impressions of uh, the conference so far? Uh, we know that each game in conference is going to be a battle. I mean, there's a lot of parity in the in the WAC, and so so again, you noticed if you go across the board, uh, a lot of games have been tight, a lot of ties, and so so again, every every game is going to definitely be a tight dogfight for sure. So, what were your thoughts on this weekend? This weekend, you end up with a tie on Friday and then some one loss yes, yesterday. So, what were your thoughts on how your team performed in those games? Yeah, we really uh, felt that uh, Friday night's performance was great. I mean, we um, we really, really played well. It's probably one of our best games we played over the course of 90 minutes um, all year. Um, Sunday, I thought we played well yesterday as well. Um, I mean, minus maybe the first 10 minutes as we um, got into the game and kind of ironed a few things out. We played great. We had a, plenty of opportunities. Um, the opportunities to score were there. We hit the crossbar. We've we had some quality shots. It's just a matter a matter of um, you know kind of just a you know it actually turned out yesterday to be sort of a game of inches, and um, and just we were on the lower end of that. So uh, Jordan Ritchie had a good weekend. So can you talk to me about her performance a little bit? Yeah, Jordan's been great. Uh, you know she's she's played a lot of minutes this year, and you know and also stepping up and scoring. Um, these last couple games have been great. Um, like I said. You know the the work ethic she puts it in and the energy she puts in every game. I mean she's going to be going to be a threat. But yeah, we've we've been really impressed with what she's been doing on this team, especially this past year. Heading into these next couple matchups, what do you want to see um, your team kind of improve on and work on? Well, uh, I mean finishing our chances is is got to be number one. You know, um, you know, like I said, we've we've been around and around the goal and we've had plenty of shots. It's just got to be able to put them in. Um, you know, we're going to be on the road. We're going to play two tough teams. Um, but again, you know, we've just got to be able to, to play our game and, and to execute our chances. I mean, it's pretty much that simple. You already uh, mentioned playing two teams on the road San Jose and New Mexico State. What are those matchups looking like for you guys? Uh, like I said, you know, we, um, Sam Houston's an old rival, you know, and we, we have a lot of experience playing them. They have a new coaching staff this year. Um, but again, we, we expect them to be tough, especially at home. Um, and New Mexico State has also been playing well this year, and you know, I guess our third straight time going to Las Cruces. But uh, but again, you know, it's a tough trip. But but again, just got to stay focused and see if we can if we can get some points on the road. Logistically, what is that uh, going from Huntsville to Las Cruces? What does that look like? Yeah, it's it's a kind of a kind of a tough travel partner situation where they're so far apart. So, I mean, it's just a matter of busing down, flying across, and, and then and busing back. But, uh, but again, you know, it's, it's kind of a game within a game, being on the road, trying to make sure we get the right amount of rest and, um, and just making sure that we're ready to play on Friday night and we're ready to play on Sunday. So, so again, it's, it's, it'll be, it's tough logistically going on the road no matter what. But, uh, but I think I said as, as if, it's, if we can overcome any of that it's situation to get a rest, then we'll be fine. Uh, physicality on Sunday, how, how challenging? I mean, that game was physical really from the beginning. Um, so how did you feel about the way they, they fought through all 90 minutes on Sunday? Well, they, they did. Like I said, you know, it, it was an adjustment to the game because, because the way um, – Utah Tech plays, and you know, and just the, the kind of the formation they play, um, you know, that that causes a little bit of an issue at the beginning of the game. Um, but again, you know, I think we thought we rose to the occasion um, as as the game went on, and you know, and I felt that you know that we we had to run a play a lot in the second half. Um, just it's just like I said, just a matter of us, you know, trying to get on the better end of things and and to create opportunities that we can put the ball in the net. I think it was like seven straight shutouts for Utah Tech coming into that game. And so Mickey's goal was huge to get that thing tied yes. up at 1-1. Uh, what was your perspective on, on that play and her ability to, to score? Yeah, I, I, it was hard to see when, when it actually happened during the game, just from the it's other way across the field. But I know when I watched it later on the clip, you know, she had a, it was a one-time hit, and she is a beautiful shot on the back post. Um, but, but overall, um, like I said, that was that was that was was a great shot. Uh, how challenging is it when you're away from home now for quite a while? This this road trip continues here for for a few weeks. 
Well, I think, uh, you know, we, we haven't been on the road a ton. I mean, we, we took, had a trip earlier this year and we've been on the road, but we, like I said, we, we do our best to, uh, to make sure that we get enough rest and time to make sure that we're ready to play. So again, as long as we're not rushing ourselves and are kind of in making sure we're getting enough rest, we should be fine. Um, so it'll be, we're excited to get on the road and, and see if we can get some points.